Does the C919 pose a threat to the A320 and the 737? As the C919 edges closer to its first commercial flight this winter, an important question still remains. Does it stand a chance in the narrow body jet market? Well, from a short term perspective, the answer is no. Specification wise, its range and passenger capacity doesn't look favorable compared to its designated competitors, the A320 and the 737-800. Instead, it seems to be more similar to the A220. The C919 has a passenger capacity of 165 and 2200 nautical miles of range, while the A220 has a capacity of 150 and 3500 nautical miles of range. If Comac wants to have better positioning, they might want to modify their plane after launch. Modification could revive interest from the international market. Ryanair previously expressed interest in a 200-seat version of the C919, comparable to their Max 8200s. Unfortunately for Comac, there are still some more pressing issues to resolve. Despite its nearing commercial flight, there are still several tests to conduct. COVID-19 related border restrictions have delayed these tests. One of them is the natural icing test, due to take place in Ontario, Canada. It was scheduled to happen this spring, but now has been postponed to autumn. Because the situation hasn't gotten much better since then, they could delay it further. To compete against the A320 and the 737, the C919 must first open up herself to the international market. To do this, the C919 must obtain an EASA or FAA airworthiness certificate. Getting an airworthiness certificate would be an arduous and lengthy process for Kama, especially with rumors claiming that the FAA and the EASA might favor Western aircraft designs and place a higher standard towards the C919 to increase the chance of its rejection. Of course, a higher standard has its merits. From a long-term perspective, it could increase the reliability of C919. After the MAX crisis, some countries question the trustworthiness of the EASA and FAA certificates. Some have even decided to certify planes themselves. This could give the C919 a better chance of competing with Airbus and Boeing in the global aviation market. Recently, decreasing a plane's carbon footprint has become a prominent focus for many mainstream aircraft manufacturers. Although the Airbus hydrogen plane and other eco-friendly planes will not enter under service until 2035, it would be an excellent move for Comac to consider a variant that uses alternative energy for their aircraft. Despite all of this, many companies in the aviation industry still see potential in the C919. A few years ago, the CEO of Ryanair signed an agreement with Comac promising an order for the aircraft as soon as they provide a 200-seat variant. This suggests that Ryanair may order over a hundred planes to replace their MAX 8200s and maintain fleet commonality. This will also be the perfect opportunity for Comac to prove its strength in the global market. However, there is a possibility that this is just a Ryanair grand scheme to deceive Boeing and acquire a better price over future orders at the hundred plus planes they ordered recently which served them far beyond 2035. In addition to the Ryanair promise, Airbus also seems to recognize the potential of the C919. Guillaume Fauri, the CEO of Airbus, said at a media conference that there are many challenges and I think it's too early to say to what degree Comac will be able to compete with Boeing and Airbus, but we are taking them seriously and we are watching carefully what's happening there. He also noted that it will start slowly, reaching at the beginning, probably only the Chinese airlines, but we believe it will progressively become a decent player. We will go from a duopoly to the triopoly on the single aisle, probably by the end of the decade. Acknowledgement from Airbus means something, as Airbus came from similar origins decades ago with their revolutionary design principle and vision. With some modifications, the C919 does have potential to compete against the A320 and 737. After all, the C919 is equipped with some of the latest technologies, like ranked winglets. The C919 also has similar power plants to that of the 737 MAX and the A320neo. 
Although the political situation between China, the US, and the EU might be an obstacle on the C919's path to becoming a new successful narrow body aircraft, we will just have to wait and see. Will the C919 be able to compete against the A320 and the 737?